right. How is everybody doing? Guy is in a hotel. Do you have any hookers yeah. coming? You have, you have hookers coming, don't you? Fucking, yeah. Male hookers. How many hookers? <laughs> yeah, like I got time for that. Um, no, I, I'm here for a gasp and better bodies. Uh, I fly out here like a bunch of times a year and uh, do a lot of um, day in the life stuff, train with branch. Uh, we're going to shoot tomorrow. Uh, you know, new products coming out. They, they want to get, you know, shots. So I've been here since Monday and I go home Sunday. Awesome. So, I'm supposed to, yeah. I'm supposed to go and do stuff with them, man. But this lockdown just keeps fucking me over. Because I'm sponsored ready for this. Uh, You're still locked down. Ready for that? Yeah, like I'm sponsored by Gas. But every time they want to fly me out, it's just some dumb shit happens and I can't get out there. Ready for this, Samir, the kid Samir Trudy, the bodybuilder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's he tested positive for COVID almost yeah. a month ago. Yeah. And he just he got tested four times this week. He's still coming back. The doctor's telling him he's not contagious. But he's still coming back with a positive test, and he can't go back home. So he's stuck in Dallas until he—he's he, not allowed to go to Dubai until Thank he you. has a negative. It's called like a PSR test. Yeah, and he's—he's he's been negative for fucking ever. Wow, man! He's so been I, here every every day. Yeah, is gas paying for him to stay there? I mean, I'm sure, but yeah, I, exactly. I can't speak on their behalf. But I'm, yeah, I mean, that would be kind of fun though. I'm just, just stuck on vacation. And it's all being well, paid. He's got a wife and a daughter, so yeah, I guess you know. But I mean, your vacation's paid for, so you're like, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like got a way of most. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on with you, Nick? I saw um, you're training with that newbie machine now, or new new tech, or whatever that one's called. What's it? What's yeah, it called? I don't, I don't really know the whole name, but it's a well, new fit. It's called a newbie. It's a neuro. If it works for your neurological pathways. No, but yeah, I think there's, I think there's a, a different brand. This is a different, different. Yeah. Company. The one I have is a different brand. Let me oh. see. It was like, it starts with an N. It's, I think it's new, new tech or something like that. Yeah. 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 So what is it? How often have you been using it or when did you yes, start? When did you start using it? Used it. Today was the first day. Yeah. What did you see? Do you feel anything different? Because I kind of feel like people are saying it yeah. works, but it also looks like a gimmick. No, it works. What's it, it feel like? I'm like really bad. Like I feel like I got hit by. It feels really? like you have like a crazy, like weird stim machine on your body, and it's you, while you're trying to train it. I can't go as heavy as I normally do with that shit. Away, guy, you've used that thing too. I used it not in the gym. I used it during my. They actually not that machine, but new fit sent me like a $20,000 machine when I had my shoulder surgeries. I use it every day at home, not in the gym. Yeah. It's so pretty you, good. So, so you use it just for like circulation and stimulation. I right? use it for, for pure recovery purposes. Like yeah. I did like right. lateral raises with, the, with it on. Like they gave me exercises to do. Yeah. yeah. And like sometimes I even like slapped it on and you could put it on like a very low setting and just fall asleep with it. Yeah. 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 You know. Okay. So, so Nick, you can't lift as heavy, but you're feeling like you tax the muscle more. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Like my hamstrings are already extremely sore. I wonder what's going to happen with this kind of thing though. Cause I can't see it being a mainstream thing. Like I can't see them I don't, being... well, I think it's because of how bad it can like tax you, tax your nervous system. I don't think you should use it like as an everyday thing. So how often would you, what, are, you are you trying to build up your hamstrings? Is that why you're using it there? No, I just wanted to try it, and I just so happened to be the hamstring day, so we did it. But since I do think, like, my chest is a weaker point, I, I would want to use it on my chest. That's so exactly what you're supposed to utilize it for. Okay, so let's say let's say you're going to use it on your chest as like to bring up a weak point. How often do you think something like that would be valuable to use? Once a week? Twice a week? Like, I mean, you, I'd, probably like start, I'd probably start once a week, yeah. But, I mean, like, could you use it every workout, you think, or you think it'd be too much? I think it'd be too much. I think you, you would be fucked. Yeah. I don't know, man. I want to try it, but it's fucking expensive. Like, I'm not going to go spend 20 grand. Like, it's something you would buy if you were Dude, a personal... You need that, and then you need the fu- then you need a battery pack to plug it into. Then you need this cart, because you got to wheel it around the gym if you're going to do it in the gym. You can't, yeah. like, just set it on the ground. So. Do. We, wheel the, we wheel that shit around. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's so unless lot. you have somebody actually with you every day that, like, can attach it and move it and, like, <laughs> wants to be, like, a fucking weight caddy for you, like, it's hard to do. Nick, this is fucking stupid, man. <laughs> This doesn't look real. Like, what the fuck is up with your leg, man? Fuad, I told you I'm bringing the heat. Look at this. This is gross. You mean it's gross? Well, gross is a good term in bodybuilding, son. Oh. This this adductor is literally overlapping the other one. 
<laughs> you must get the worst fucking like 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 you probably have a... drop from your fucking yeah. leg rubbing together. Yeah. Your leg rash has got to be brutal. Got to look. <laughs> I don't really get leg rashes. It's probably so calloused from being fucking rubbed together so much. The skin's probably just dead. probably like <laughs> elephant skin between your fucking legs. <laughs> <laughs> So what else is going on, man? It's fucking January. Everybody's chilling out. Who's the Arnold? I guess moved to September. I Wait, I thought it was April. I heard August or September. The Arnold? Yeah. Actually, the Arnold. I Columbus, heard April, Arnold no, I heard Arnold Columbus was August or September by two people. I, yeah. I got a text at the O that it was moved to April May from yeah. one of the guys that like is help like expedites the Arnold. Well, you know what we do on this podcast, though. We just guess about everything, so it doesn't matter. Anyway. Is this still going to be in Ohio? Um, well, I think so. I don't know. Ask yeah. Guy. <laughs> guy. Apparently I heard it was still in Ohio. No, right? You get the text messages. I talked to Sergio uh, a couple days ago. Sergio said that he was August. He thought it was – he was being told it was August. Huh. And, I, and I think it was also Ian. I think Ian might – was it Ian I spoke to or somebody else that might have said the same thing? So, but that is confusing because if it, it, it doesn't really make like even Sergio that's said, way too close to the Olympia. That's what Sergio said. He's like, it's kind of weird because then I would have to stay in shape and get ready for the, uh, for the, O. so it's not. And that means the O would also be in December again, meaning they would just keep it there. I think they're permanently going to try and keep it in December from what I heard. You think they're going to leave the Olympia in December? The first week of December. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, we'll have, uh, Maybe I'll get Dan Solomon on the podcast and ask him to try and get some concrete answers. I don't, I don't see any. There's no. See, that would be confusing because then when would be the cutoff to qualify for the O? Well, this year it was uh, the last show in October was the qualifying show, the last qualifying show. Yeah, because then that, that might that might change my whole fucking perspective of when I'm going to start dieting now. Yeah, because uh, like Nick, remember the Chicago, Chicago, Chicago was, was the, on the qualify, right? The last qualifying yeah. show that list this past year. So they would probably if they if they keep the Olympia in December, I'm, I'm sure that would be the last show to qualify. Is there any schedule out yet, guy? Have you have you seen the schedule? Yeah, if you go to ibupro.com, like they have the schedule, but that schedule always changes like very early on. So I don't really take that's like a tentative schedule. Yeah, you know. So I also heard the Toronto Pro is in August this year, and that's from the promoter himself. So that I think I'm pretty wow. that pretty too, sure yeah. on. So that's actually good for me. It gives me a little bit more time if I do decide to do it. Yeah. So. I don't know. Anyway, what else is going on? Anything interesting? Doesn't it suck right now? This is this to, this is supposed to be a good time right now because the Arnold's usually in March and guys are usually like eight weeks out right Start. now. Yep. And it's things are starting to kind of heat up again. So it's like, you know, you get that Christmas break and then everybody starts looking forward to the Arnold. Now there's no Arnold. It's like, what the fuck? Nope. <laughs> so I don't know. But well, this like this will help people that are trying to make, like like anybody that's trying to make improvements that this is going to help them at like this this point right now. The fact that shows got pushed back, that means I get a little bit more of an off season, you know? Yeah, I just wonder if the same thing's going to happen that happened last year where they're like, guys are getting ready for shows and they start getting canceled and all this other shit. I don't think uh, so. Or, or you might even have people that just fucking pull back a little bit, maybe not even start preparing because they're going to be like, who? I mean, not for nothing. I mean, listen, this isn't a knock on anybody, but who the fuck wants to get ready for a fucking show if you don't know what's going to happen? It's a lot of wasted time, money, and fucking health. <laughs> yeah. True, but I think they will be a little more prepared this year after what happened last year yeah maybe guys will stay more in shape like closer to stage state stage shape that way like if the if they want to get into a show they can get in you know what i mean yeah like how else can they do it like how else can guys do it if you're going to go to a full-blown off season and be heavy what are you going to do if all of a sudden they're like the show's happening and again it gets canceled then what you're gonna you're fucked if you but if you're closer to stage weight then you kind of jump in whenever you you find yeah. one, whenever you find one available yeah nick does yeah, that make sense that's if, that's if you're not trying to make improvements but is like nick, what bodybuilder huh? is, is nick's screen frozen or is nick just staring at us <laughs> i mean i would go with option b <laughs> oh he's back <laughs> nick are you there <laughs> yeah what happened bro <laughs> you fucking rain manned it too long and it fucking thought you like fucking had a bad connection yeah. i was like what the fuck is going on he was in the middle of a sentence <laughs> <laughs> uh anyway all right let's uh let's get to some questions you know what let's do that okay we're gonna do some bodybuilding stuff this time because 
that's what we do. Last time we went way too fucking sex <laughs> oriented. It just happens, man. It's not ever planned. It just this just so happens. That's so. the beauty of the podcast. It just happens. <laughs> you, oh, you know what? This is actually a good one because I started doing this. Do you guys do your Smith Machine shoulder press behind the head or in front? Both. In front. Okay, Nick, you said in front. Why in front, not behind? I don't like behind. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It feels weird. Like it's hurt. Like it's painful, or just you don't get a pump from it. I just don't really feel it. So just sitting on a dildo, but you said you do that, and no, no problem. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> because anyway, I'm fake. That's right. Anyways, no, the um, that's weird that you don't feel. I get way more pump from behind the head. Really? Yeah, my shoulders, my shoulders get fried, like really fried. Really? Yeah. Because I find what I do from the front, it's almost like I arch my back too much. Yeah. And I, and I get more chest. I start getting my chest involved, and then like my shoulders can't. I don't get as much of my shoulder. Do behind you the head, you're forced to be upright. Down? That's right. When you go behind the head, you can't lean back. You have to be upright. Oh, that's right. So it's all shoulder. So Nick, you're trying to cheat so you can do four plates. That's why. No, nah, no. Nah, I never cheat. I'm just strong. <laughs> 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 that's going to go on a shirt for sure. <laughs> Guy, you do both? I don't take test steroids. I'm just jacked. How? <laughs> Guy, you do you guy, you do front. I do, I, yeah. Even before Meadows, I did Smith Machine in the front, and then there's days I did both behind the neck, or some days I just did behind the neck. I and I have bad shoulders, but I, I obviously it's not the best for your shoulders, but I feel a completely different contraction of the muscle than behind the head than when I do in front. I do too, and I almost so, but I don't go that deep. Like I'm just going ninety. No, I go like really like back to like right here. Yeah, I just go ninety. I'm like here. And then I'm, like I don't yeah. I don't come down like this. Well, you're just a ninety degree bend in the elbow. Yeah, right, right here, boom. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, but I feel like it's not that bad for your shoulders if you're only doing a ninety degree bend. But I have bad shoulders, so that. No, no, no. I'm saying for like it's bad. I know, but I'm saying somebody with a healthy shoulder. I feel like if no, they're not, if they're not, not, if they're not bringing it down here, yeah. then it's not. I don't think it's bad. No, same thing in the you, front. Like I see people bring it down to like here, and I'm like, yeah, I bring it right here. That same thing, yeah. Do you go just as heavy doing it behind the neck? Or behind no. the head? No. I don't. I go like two. I mean, obviously, the weight's going to be different for you. You're going to be stronger anyways. But like two and a 10, two plates and a 10. I was going to say I don't go over two plates usually. Yeah. Head, but. Two plates and a 10 and my shoulders How are many do you normally? Sorry? How many reps do you normally get? 10. 10? Okay. Yeah, like I'm not – like, but that's – it's like all I need, man. It's crazy. Like they're – it targets them so much that it's like the difference is day and night between front and back. Yeah. So you prefer back. Oh yeah. Like it's crazy. Sure. It's crazy. It's not even. You know close. who likes behind the neck presses too is actually Juan. Morel. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, looking back, do you think every bodybuilder should win a natural show before taking gear to ensure the foundations are in place? No. 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 <laughs> Look at Nick. Nick's, Nick's, dis oh. Nick's, Nick's disgusted by the question. He's like, <laughs> 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 well, we all do agree that you should train for a while naturally first. Yes. You should yeah. Really first for a while, but you don't have to do a show naturally first. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Cardio in the off season. Do you think it's relevant? Yes. Yes. hundred percent. Okay. Why? Heart health and appetite for me. Heart health and well, appetite. Okay, one okay. second. One guy at a time. Heart, health, and appetite for you, guy. Nick, what do you think? I was kind of going to say the same thing. Kind of stole my answer. <laughs> okay, man. It's not a test. You don't lose. It's all good. <laughs> you do cardio every day? Me? Yeah. I did. Oh. Since Chicago, I do, I've done cardio just about every day. I was yeah. I was until they locked the gyms down. I was going because I, I have a treadmill in my house, but I fucking hate the treadmill, man. Like I like going to the gym and I'll get on the recumbent bike or I'll get on the on the step mill or something and I'll do my shit. Let me tell you something. I've been doing the recumbent bike in the hotel because I don't have it at my house. Yeah. I fucking sweat my balls off way more in that than I do the treadmill. Dude, I love it. I put like no. the tre treadmill doesn't do shit. I get I might even get a recumbent bike just to put in my house. I think I'm gonna too, because I get the recumbent bike and I put it on like level eight, nine, ten. Yeah. And I get a nice full feeling of my legs and I'm drenched. And you're sweating your balls off. Yeah. 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 And on the treadmill, I'm like, fuck this. It just sucks. Like it's not sort of bored. Yeah. Yeah. It's not fun. Yeah. But I've been doing, I do, um, you know what, man? I got a different answer than both of you. I do the cardio in the morning just to get my day started. 
if I don't do cardio in the morning, I fucking laze around and blah, blah, blah. And I start my day at like 11 o'clock. So when I get up and do cardio, yeah, I get up, I get, I get to the gym, I get my shit done. And that's like the start of my day. So I can dig. Yeah. It's good for appetite too. For those people watching. It's like, yeah, a lot of guys can't fucking eat their meals, get some cardio in. Yep. Um, lower calories on rest days and higher calories on big lift days or same calories the whole week. I do a little bit lower calories or more, more so lower carbs on my two off days. Cause that's what I do. You got Nick, you do the same. Yeah. But I also think it's person dependent. I yeah. do. Every, I do everything ass backwards. I do it differently. I do the opposite of you guys. You I, load up, dude. I load up hard on my off days. I'll sit around and just graze like a fucking, like a cow. I just <laughs> seriously, I oh, like, don't eat anything. No, no. Well, I'll graze all day long. I'll just eat all day long. I'll, I oh, eat graze more. is like to me like what am I like picking on something? Well, I, graze to me is like eating all day. That's what cows do. They eat all day long, right? Yeah, they graze a little bit all day. Well, so you if, just you have like big meals all day or like a ton of carbs all day? Okay, now we're getting okay. Just forget I use the word graze. Okay, <laughs> it's great, it's, graze to me is like is like picking like a little bit all day. Well, graze to me is I'm eating a blade of grass every second so at the end of the day i ate a million blades of grass so, do you, so you're saying like a cow doesn't stop eating all day it doesn't does it uh, you've never seen a cow lay down and fucking do nothing all day no i haven't but then again i'm not a farm boy so i wouldn't know yeah when it's like gonna rain cows just like bed down and don't do anything all day i just assumed that cows just eat all day long and then go to sleep at night <laughs> <laughs> that would be a, that would be a fuad be a... <laughs> okay all right we have a new name no um Okay, fine. Can we choose not use the word graze then? The point I was trying to make is I eat more on my days off because I feel like I have clean. Much- um, clean or like like cheap meals. You, you going full fat boy or are you just up no no cap- not not full fat boy. I'll like I'll I'll do like a twenty five to thirty percent increase on my carbs and all my meals. Okay. So instead of having like eighty grams per meal, I'll do like a hundred hundred and twenty. I'm fucking froze again. No, it's not. You're there. I can see you. I don't. Oh, wait. Now he froze. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> Nick's freezing is better than everybody else's. He looks like he's still there. Hey, Ford, did you do you do that because the day off is followed by a heavy li- yes. like leg day or a back yes. day? or Okay. So, so, you're like, not do- so you're not doing it for no reason? No, no. Yeah, I do it for reason. So Sunday and okay. Thursday are my days off. So I have three days. Okay. I'm, I'm Sunday, Wednesday. Yeah, so if you so either way, you have two days off and, or two yeah. days of training and then three days of training. Yeah. So I feel like I load up really hard on those off days so that when I go into the gym, I'm full and I can usually keep that good fullness for two days until my so next. So you do like a combo of like clean versus like not clean. Not really. I'll have I'll have a couple cheat meals a week. I think yeah. Nick just fucked off. He's probably going to try. And Nick, log- it says Nick Walker left. Yeah, I think he's going to try and log back in. Hopefully. Um, yeah. No, I. I'll usually do a cheat meal on Wednesday and Saturday, actually. Really? Yeah. So it's different from my off days. Okay. Saturday night, because it's just my night with the wife. We'll hang out and just have a bite to eat. And Wednesday is usually like a cleaner cheat meal, like something like sushi. Sweet. Yeah, like sushi or like I'll get a rotisserie chicken or something that's already made. It's not even cheat. Yeah. It's just food that's already made. It's not even a cheat, really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my off days, I like to load up, man. I like to... I like to get ready for the for the next because I figure it's a block of time, right? You're training for three days, then you take a day off. You're training for two more days. Replenish the fucking glycogen. Yeah, so I like to fill up. (laughs) Are you back, buddy? What happened there, dude? I don't, I don't know. (laughs) Maybe you paid your fucking Wi-Fi bill. You wouldn't get kicked off. (laughs) Uh, Would you allow a fan of the show, me, to come on for one minute and to ask a few questions? You know what we. I tried to do that before. It just gets hard scheduling between. Because then everybody probably wants to do it. Well, it's not only that. Like we had enough hard, we had hard enough time scheduling this. Like you were late coming on, guy. And, um, you also I can't be late coming on when I get the fucking Zoom <laughs> email fifteen minutes fucking late. And the the, 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 the response that I when I text you was oh fucking capital letters because I text you first and you didn't answer. So I was like, oh, he's not coming. He's fucking forgot. No. I would never have not come. I, even Nick FaceTimed me when I was driving here. I said, I'll be in my hotel in five minutes and I'm hopping on. Look. Then I get here, I set my phone up and I'm like, I don't have a link. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 
So I said at 638, I said, are you good for seven? I didn't hear from you. So at, <laughs> so at 645, I text you again. I said, yes or no. I also did not hear from you. Then I was also fucking wait a minute. Doing that, wait a minute. Then at seven o'clock, because now I'm on the phone with somebody else trying to get a fill in for you. Have I, I ever not showed up without telling you? At seven o'clock, I get uh yeah for about 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah, meaning like I can do the show 45 minutes to an hour because I got fucking I got something booked now because Michael wants to go fucking have like a team dinner. And then it says I'll be ready in five. And then at this time at this time, I'm still on the phone trying to line up other people. You're an idiot. I said I'd be there. And then at seven at seven seven oh seven, it says, "And shocker, no link." <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can actually read the whole thing if you want. <laughs> no, that's good. That's enough. <laughs> okay. Anyways, back to our our questions. Um, yeah. So we have enough time. We have a hard enough time fucking lining up our own schedules. Yeah. Yeah. And trying to line up like a fan edition as well. So that kind of just gets too complicated. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, best exercises for back thickness. Nick. Mm, T-bar rows. Yes, that's what I was going to say too. Guy, yeah. give a different answer. Um, t- uh, no, I was at T-bar rows, barbell rows. T-bar rows are my go-to. You know, when I do barbell rows, like, I feel like I get a lot of arm. Yeah. I feel like I get less arm when I do T-bar rows than when I do barbell rows. I like when I'm done. How do you do your T-bars? Do you with the uh, close grip uh, bar you do like CD cables with? Yeah, yeah, the, the, the close grip bar, the V-bar. Yeah. So I don't know, I just, but even if I do them on a supported T-bar, like with a, you know, with a little bit wider grip, Yeah. I still, I always get a better feel out of T-bar rows than I do out of barbell rows. Hmm. I don't I know. Um. What watches do you own and which ones are your favorite? I'm not really I don't, I don't own a watch. You don't not even one? Nah, man. Why not? Because that is look, too fat. Wait a minute, what? Because why? What do I need a watch for? I just look at my phone. Well, I mean, because it's kind of like jewelry. There's a size watch you'd have to get, so his fucking hand didn't look like retarded. It would be after <laughs> like fucking a thirty thousand dollar watch that we were in a <laughs> we were in a clock. <laughs> What? Like one no. of those flavor flav clocks on his wrist. No, seriously, you don't wear you don't wear like any jewelry or anything. No, not a necklace, ring, nothing. No, why not? I don't know. I never thought about it. I'm just not. I'm not a fucking. I'm not grilling you. Just asking a question. <laughs> no, I don't know. I was gonna start wearing a watch though. It's a very just... adult decision. What, <laughs> what style of watch? <laughs> What style of watch do you like, Nick? I like a Rolex. Stop. Buy, the kid gonna... doesn't own a fucking watch I know, to I know. begin with and rattles off the most expensive one of the most expensive watches. Well, I'm, gonna Frank get... I'm gonna go all out. You he's borrow right. Frank Mirror, why'd you start rattling off names? No, he's right. <laughs> if you're gonna go, you might as well go big. All right? <laughs> go, go big or go. Can you afford can you afford I can't afford a Rolex? Can you afford a fucking Rolex? Get, get a, a fa- Rolex. Get a fake Rolex. Exactly. <laughs> right, fuck it. Nobody's gonna know. Who gives a shit? Guy, are you a watch guy? I got. A, I got a couple watches. Do you? Yeah. Like expensive watches. I got. I got. I got. I got two that are pretty expensive. I don't have expensive watches. I like watches, but they're not expensive. I think my my most expensive one is like a Burberry watch. It's like I don't know. It wasn't that wasn't crazy crazy? It's not like Rolex expensive. No. So, no. I don't have a, roll. I don't have. I don't have ones that are like twenty grand. I don't. No. Know, that's, that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I got ones that are like five grand, like nothing crazy. You know what happens to me though? I like wearing watches, but I always take them off because I start to sweat and then I get uncomfortable and I want to take everything off. So I'll and then just, you take it all your watch off and then your wrist is all soggy. Dude, I'll go to dinner and me and my wife will leave for dinner. I'll have my a ring on, my watch. I'm all good. I go. I get to dinner. I start getting hot. I'm sitting. <laughs> I take my ring off. I take the watch off. I'm like put these in your purse. So now I'm like, why did I put them on in the first place? It's exactly. like a, that's see that's why I know Nick doesn't want to wear jewelry because it gets cumbersome when you're fucking big and you're sweaty and you're fucking. I'm sitting here sweating, man. That's right. If you were wearing a watch right now, you'd be like, "Fuck this! I'm taking it off." You're sitting there sweating because your ass is in fucking Florida, you idiot. You're in fucking I Florida. I sweat, you're I sweat, this sweat all fucking bro. year, bro. You look way I... more Italian with the beanie on. <laughs> what would you say? I said you look way more Italian with the beanie on. <laughs> 
<laughs> he does. He does, right? Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the tattoo you got, man? That looks good. Nick. Oh, this is this is loyalty. That's pretty badass. I like that. Thank you. You know, it sucks. I got two tattoos and I don't have them anywhere where I can see them, and I'm kind of annoyed. Where do you, where do you have them? Don't well, you have like a Chinese one somewhere? Randomly? No, I no, I didn't do the Chinese shit. I got one in the middle. Do you, have? Of my... you have like a symbol somewhere. Mine's a dynamic dynamic anatomy. It's like a guy doing a thinking pose, but he's got no skin. It's just muscle. That's dope. So that's in the middle of my back, and then on my arm, like here, it says sacrifice. You can. You can kind of see it. Oh, that's oh. what I was thinking of. This is the design yeah. you had. Okay, yeah, that was it. But I can't, I can't, I, I want to get this one finished. I want to go down my arm. So I got to figure that. What is it with the bodybuilders that like get, because like I thought about getting a sleeve too. Like, what is it with the older bodybuilders that are like, I'm going to get a sleeve now? A lot of bodybuilders on the, like, closer to the end of their career, Hidetada, like Dennis James, Dennis Wolf. Like, I can just, re- like, and that, but then there's guys that are younger that started getting tattoos. Like Chris Bumstead got a tattoo. Like yeah. everybody started getting arm tattoos. I've always wanted the forearm tattoo. I, I it wasn't a career thing because the forearm doesn't affect your stage shots at all. I just, yeah. you know, the first guy, the first tattoo I saw on, on a bodybuilder I thought was awesome was Dorian Yates because he has Which a forearm. One? He's got the forearm tattoo. forearm tattoo. Yeah, and I thought that's fucking really badass. And I've wanted it for like probably fucking ten years, and I never got Why one. Why haven't done. you gotten it? I don't know. I just, I, I, I never wanted to wear a, I never wanted to show my tattoo. Like if I want, if I wear a t-shirt, I don't want my tattoos to show. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't want like tattoos all over my forearms, but now I think I don't care anymore. So, nah. yeah. I don't know. It's just more acceptable. I don't know. Like, I don't, and I, plus I see like, well, I remember this tattoos are definitely more acceptable because back in the day, Star, I remember going into Starbucks and like people had to have all their tattoos and shit like covered up or like this and that. Yeah. Now you're walking into Starbucks like walking in the fucking hot topic yeah yeah they all have yeah yeah it's not a big deal anymore no plus i don't know when you get it on your forum you can see it you know what i mean like yeah. everywhere else, like everywhere else you can't really see what you got done so yeah, yeah. i don't know it's kind of cool to be able to enjoy it yeah anyway we got way off topic there uh we're on watches um anyway actually i just got my watch because i had to look at the time i'm like where's your phone oh you're using your phone I, it doesn't on zoom it doesn't give me the fucking time Longest. Do most bodybuilders lie about their height and weight, which is lied about more? I don't think people lie about their height, do they? I don't. Know. Guy, do you lie about your height? How do you, does a midget lie about how tall he is? I'm just saying, like, if you're five five, do you say you're five six? I'm five five and a half. <laughs> yeah, but do you ever like say no? I'm five seven. No. Yeah, I don't think I've ever lied either. I think I've said five ten before, but only because I used to think I was five ten. But I guess I'm like five nine. Yeah, I'm five five and a half. I'm not five six. Yeah. What about you, Nick? You ever lie about your height? He has no, to five seven. You're only five seven. Yeah. Huh. What about your weight? Everybody lies about their fucking weight. Nope. I've never, I've never fucking felt a need to lie about my weight. I'm like two eighty is good. If you don't like two eighty, then you're an idiot. I was two eighty six this morning. Were you really? Mm-hmm. You're a fucking beast. Two eighty six at five seven, and lean. I would say pretty lean too. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, you ever lie about your weight? What do I have to lie about? I don't know. I'll tell you what I weighed before I came to Texas. I was 207.6 before I went to Texas. How's that? Okay, fine. Not us. Do you think bodybuilders still do? I know that shit was really prevalent for a while. I know my friends that lie about their weight. Next topic. Really? Pro friends that lie about their weight. Really? Yes. But why do guys give a shit? Like, it's not that big. Like, nobody cares. Dude, there's guys that fucking weigh in fucking fully clothed with their cell phone in their pocket, fucking shoes on, fucking like. Oh, you're talking about 212 guys. I, I mean, I, well, open guys don't have to weigh in. I know that. And then we weigh in at 7 o'clock at night, and people weigh in fully clothed, and they're like, barely made weight, baby. Yeah. But no, I'm not talking about 212 guys or competition. I'm talking about just online, like on Instagram, for example. Do you think when people write, like, fucking 296 this morning, like, do you think people still lie about that shit? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. Wow factor. Uh, for what? I think guys are mostly honest, man. I see guys. No, no. Because I I see guys being really specific. They're like two eighty three, right out of bed, blah blah. And I see other guys writing like two ninety six, but it was after my last meal. Like I see them being pretty specific about their weights. So I'm like, maybe they're not lying. Plus, when I look at the guys saying it, I'm like, like when 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 uh, Antoine was saying he was like fucking three thirty four, whatever the fuck he was last year. I believe it because I was there. I saw it. Like, and I know when you have massive legs, that's where most of your masses, like your weight's going to come from. 
So I kind of believe it. Like, I don't know. I don't know if guys are fucking full of shit. You know somebody, spe- you don't have to name them, but you know somebody specifically who's full of shit? I know people. <laughs> <laughs> name names. Come on, give me a name. No, no, no. I'm, not, some- I'm not Nick Walker. I don't get sucked into this trap. Give me, give me an initial. Give me an initial. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what, so, po- it, what, what, is, what does podcast do? I lost friends, lost relationships. It's so point it's so pointless to fucking lie about your weight it doesn't mean fucking anything you know what you know know. know, you know how i know it doesn't mean anything this is what people don't understand it's an illusion all 255s are not equal no right i'm saying like phil heath weighs in at like 255 i weigh in at 255 we're not even fucking similar he no the muscles completely proportioned different on your bodies completely blows me out of the water you would never think we weigh the same but that's what people always like, oh, you must be lying because you don't look like Phil Heath and he weighs 255. And I'm like, no, it's just because weight's distributed differently on your body. People's bones weigh more. They're fucking whatever. The way the muscle is inserts is different. So I just don't see why you would fucking lie because it doesn't really make a difference. I agree. Like Flex Wheeler would weigh in at like two. For example, Sean Clarita. Yeah. He would It doesn't what, matter. What do you weigh in at? Like 185 or something like that or 190? He was like 180. No. Yeah, like 180. Like, and he's still he like 180. Him. Yeah. So I don't know. It's yeah, but of... I think he, I think he weighed in at 180, but he actually said he was like one, 170. Yeah, I think he was honest because he was 180, but actually he was lighter than that because he said he weighed in at 180, but I know he, what he weighed in with. And I think he actually said he was like 170 something. Yeah. You know, to be honest, when you lie about your weight, like in, a, in going up, it actually works against you. Against, yeah. Because if yeah. you if you lie, like for example, like Antoine weighed in at like whatever he said. He, I think he said he was three thirty. I'm not. I, don't, I hope I'm not making that up. But he ended up on stage at like two seventy or something like that. That's a lot of weight right there. Right. So why would you lie and then say, "Oh, I lost sixty pounds"? So it's yeah. like, I don't think guys are lying. I just, you know. And if you do lie, it doesn't really help you because then when you die, people are like, "Well, why'd you lose fifty pounds?" Or yeah, why'd you get so fat? Yeah, why'd you lose seventy pounds? Whatever the fuck it is, right? So yeah. Exactly. I don't know. I, th- I feel like we're past that. I feel like social media has been a good thing in a sense that. Look how many people lie about fucking how much they, they lift and what's on the bar and fake weights. And no, I know, but I feel like social media is lying. No, I know, but I feel like it's also exposed what people can really do. You know what I mean? Like there yeah. is, there's people like, yeah, the Brad Castleberries have been, you know, accused of fake plates and whatever. But then you can also see who's real and who's not. Like you can tell now, oh, Fuad, Fuad five plate squat is his max oh nick walker fucking shoulder presses four plates like you can see kind of what everybody's lifting nobody yeah. can really, nobody can really lie anymore you know what i mean no. so i don't know i feel like it's good that way but that's also why i feel like i don't know why people are lying about their weight like your shit is real it's right there people can see it yeah right. so, anyway uh how can any open pro bodybuilders say they have bad genetics isn't being one of the best in the world enough to dispute that bad genetics argument for any pro bodybuilder in any division bad genetics for a pro bodybuilder is what we refer to not bad genetics as a person bad genetics for the sport like i have decent genetics for a human but for a pro bodybuilder my genetics are fucking bottom of the barrel that's what i mean as a pro bodybuilder my genetics are not like near 95 percent of the fucking bodybuilders up there on stage yeah I feel but like most pe- people won't say that. I feel like people make that mistake all the time when they're reading social media. Like I'll go on there and I'll write, I'm, I'm feeling fat now. Like I'm in my chubby off season, but even our chubby off season is still like, you can see your abs and like, you're not f- fucking really fat. I mean, so, I don't have big abs. So you can't really see shit. No, no. But you know what I mean? And people will yeah. write, people will write, Oh, you're just, you're humble bragging. You're not even fucking fat. And I'm like, you're missing the point. Yeah, well, they're, they're mistaking what I'm saying for, like, the average person. I'm comparing yes. myself to all the other pros. Yes. Yeah. So so when someone, like, if I say my, like I've said before on the show, I've said my genetics are, are, are average. But you mean in a context? I'm talking about it as far as pro bodybuilders go. Yes. Yeah. And people comment and they're like, how can you say that? You're, you know, top 10, 20, whatever in the world at one point. And I was like. Yeah, like but, a pro football player that doesn't make the fuck like that plays a, like special teams. And he's like, man, I fucking like one of the worst players on the team. Yeah. Well, you're one of the best players in the world, but maybe not one of the best in the NFL. That's right. That's right. So that's why people don't understand. We're comparing ourselves to our peers, not regular people who don't yeah. like work at work out for a living. Nick, where do you think your genetics lie? As far as what? 
like as you far as you have good or bad genetics do you think you have like out of out of no, out of let's say I, out of, honestly like no i don't think i have bad genetics at all let's say out of 10 let's say if you had to rate your genetics out of 10 10 being the best i'd say 7.5 no you're better than that you're fucking you think? Just, yes Dude, if i if I, okay let's say this if 10 if 10 is ronnie coleman right and one is like I don't want to say who one is because then that person's gonna get insulted. But <laughs> wow, you actually had a one in mind. No, I didn't. No, I wow, didn't. You totally did because you said oh. that person's gonna get offended. You you lying sack. Of I did not. Totally I did. Nick, 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 do you think you had a person in mind? Yes or no? Hundred percent. Thank you. It doesn't matter. I my New Year's resolution was to be a nicer person. And you wanted me to go rattle off who lies about their weight. You're a real fucking saboteur, you know that? <laughs> okay, I'm being dead serious. I did not have somebody in mind. I was trying to think of someone. But anyways, the point I'm trying to make is if Ronnie Coleman is a 10, you're, Nick, your genetics got to be close to a nine. At least eight, eight and a half. Like, dude, yeah. you're 20. How old are you? 27? 26. You're 26 and you're fucking weigh 300 pounds lean. Like, that's... That doesn't happen with, with seven and a half genetics. I have seven and a half genetics. I that, got five and a half. No, you don't. You've won like you've won like fucking eight shows. Seven, but whatever. Well, it depends. <laughs> I, I don't want to I didn't want to agree seven, with you because somebody seven, was gonna seven. fucking come at me and be like, he said eight and he's a liar. <laughs> no, Just, dude, I literally had a dip on your last show and somebody's like, you said he was stopping after I know I saw I was like, actually I bought a fucking log of tins before the Olympia. And I said I'd be done by January first, but I don't chew that often. And I have a, I had two tins left, and this tin is for this podcast. I don't know why people care. What if you just wanted to dip for the rest of your fucking life? Who cares? People just like to, because I said I only dip for, like during the show, and then I stopped. But I had the tins left over. Like I'm not throwing them out. I'm not yeah, saving so them. So what? Like, people. So what? People don't change their mind. Who gives a fuck? Uh, people get upset. I don't know. I know. could people say. Just like to complain. I could. I could say today. I Ooh. never. I could say today I never eat ice cream, and then tomorrow I could go have some Ben and Jerry's. Why would somebody get mad at me for that? You I don't know, because you'd probably be in a bathroom full of Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> no, but they'd be like, you said you never eat Ben and Jerry's. Like, okay, so I changed my mind. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, well, it's just gener the general public now. You can't change your mind anymore. I guess. Fuck. Anyways, so, Nick, you think you're an, you think you're a seven and a half, but would you agree you're probably more closer to like an eight and a half? Well, if you, if you look at it, you know, as compared to Ronnie Coleman, then, yeah, I think I'm a little higher than that. Who's the closest to Ronnie Coleman? If Ronnie's a ten, is like who's the net? Is like Phil Phil Heath is like a, is like a nine and a half. I would say Dorian Yates is probably more up there than Phil. No, no. Come on, Dorian Yates. You're saying you're saying you're saying I think Phil has a much better genetic physique, but I think fucking Dorian was like Jesus Christ. I don't agree. I think Dorian's genetics for building mass were probably better, but. I think the overall structure. Are you talking shape, about structure, aesthetics, and everything like every, overall? Not, overall, the whole just, oh, you're just not you're not talking mass. No, I'm talking the. Oh, entire, I, well, you were you compared Ronnie and fucking Nick, so. Well, I just yeah, yeah well, I'm talking on a bodybuilding spectrum. Ronnie's oh. ten. Ronnie is ten, right? Okay. Right. So, so you is, think I have good structure for that? Yes, I do. Thank you. I appreciate it. So I then think, I yeah I, then I would I, I would say. I would say Phil or Flex. Uh, Flex Wheeler. Wheeler. Yeah. Yeah, Flex Wheeler. Flex Wheeler. Is, yeah. Even though he never won. And look, we just put somebody who won eight Mr. Rose, and we put somebody that won zero. Yeah, genetically, I mean, wow, right? You always wonder, like, imagine Flex Wheeler, and I don't – this is a knock, knock on Flex Wheeler. I'm only, only going, going by what people have said over the over the period. Maybe well, trained a little differently. I just always wonder because people would – you know, this thing has come up before. Like, imagine Flex Wheeler – trained the way Dorian Yates trained would or had the same mentality would he have been maybe it depends maybe his yeah. body wouldn't have responded not everybody no no but I don't mean I don't mean the lifting heavy I mean like imagine he had Dorian Yates mentality mentality he'd yeah. be way different yeah would yeah. have been like would he have been the best ever kind of thing you know yeah I'll do one more question and I gotta fucking jump because I got a fucking meeting <sighs> really yeah you're gonna stay for more than one we're gonna do Four and then we'll all go. All right, deal. Okay, I'll stay. If I get on. yelled at, I'm telling Michael that's your fault. Tell him it's my fault. I don't th tell him I'll come do a video shoot for them whenever he wants. Then we'll yeah, and then you're them. gonna be like, I can't. I got a quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather lose? Oh God, here we go. Would you rather lose? Yeah, 
Would you rather lose the ability to get a boner or lose the ability to get a pump? Oh shit! That's Come on, <laughs> pump, 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 pump. You, you must not a pump. With this that one. doesn't mean I can't gain muscle without a pump. I can't fuck without a boner. So that's that's I'm done. I answered it. That doesn't mean you're right because you answered it. You're, you're no, I said, I said I answered it for me. Okay, that's my answer. You're you're gonna go with the no pump one. No, because nobody said you can't build muscle without a pump. You can't fuck with a wet noodle, so that's all I'm saying. Yeah, but wait a minute. Before you answer, Nick. I need the boner. Before you answer, Nick. Imagine Don't how... do this. Do <laughs> Just... <laughs> don't, don't do this. <laughs> Just think, if you can think, if you can remember how shit your workouts are when you don't get a pump. Yeah. I had and one. I had one. I had think one. Think like, about trying to have phone. sex with a limp dick, Fuad. You would be fucking divorced. Can can Viagra? I can put a. I can put a stint. No, no drugs. All right, then. Okay, then I can pump a ton of insulin into me next. <laughs> Dude, working out without a pump would really suck. Yes. Yeah. Fucking with had a hard. Owners, it's not worse. Even, so. Yeah, I guess you're right. I gotta think of all angles. You gotta, you gotta consider. Think about I mean, okay. How about this? It's more like, would you rather never have a pump when you will work out, or never have sex again? That's no. That's how it you be. can still do other things, like what? Eat vagina. I yeah. can't get a blowjob. How is that gonna fucking do anything for me? It's exciting. No, no, Not no, for no. My bro. dick. If it doesn't no, but, work, but it, it feels good. Mm. On your tongue, you can, you can lick my butthole. You're right. <laughs> you can lick my butthole, right? Nick, you <laughs> might be <laughs> like 73 and a half percent gay. You might. Guy, have you ever had your butthole lick? Wait a minute. I got a caveat. I no, found no, 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 no. Guy, okay, wait. Yeah, let's make Guy answer the question. Yeah, go ahead. What's that? Twice? Twice you had your butthole licked? And? Did you like, like it? it? It's like a, it's like fucking a slug, fucking. Oh slug. yeah, that's no, 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 no. D did you like it? No. You're lying. You're a sack I of shit. I don't like Nick, Nick, fucking you know a girl's what? mouth eating where I fucking take drop a turd. You, she didn't, she didn't do it right. Nick, you know why he's saying that? He's saying that because he's scared that if it feels good, it means he's gay. No, it's, no, it's, I would tell you, no, absolutely not, absolutely not. It no. does not mean you're gay, bro. I promise. It doesn't. I have a lot of friends that love getting their ass licked, and I'm like, you're all weird. I just don't like it. <laughs> okay anyway i found a, whole, a loophole here okay i busted a nut without a boner before i've done that too see it's called the wet dream no i'm no, just... two weeks out from a show yeah that's right <laughs> i'm fucking so that's what i'm saying so i would yeah, rather... you got a semi though you got to have a semi yeah this doesn't say i can't get a i semi. mean I'm... It was like maybe no a third boner percent. means like you no, got no this no doesn't... boner no pump no no pump no boner <laughs> no, no nothing not you didn't when you can't get semi pumped in the gym your dick can't get semi hard stop this with your loopholes you're ridiculous this doesn't say I can't get a chub right you can't if you can't get a pump you can't get a chub hmm. that's not like saying I can get like a little pump I know there's a way around I know there's a way around this question I'm gonna find it. I'm still picking no pump, though. Like, you can't take Cialis because then you're getting a boner. No, I know. If it said I could get a chub, I'd be okay with it. <sighs> it's not the same. No, it's not. But then I could still have a little what bit of one and a whole bunch of the other. What's of the chub? What's that? What's the percentage of a chub? <laughs> sort of, guy's saying the 0%. Well, is it I was like saying, what girl's going to want to fuck you constantly with a, with that, without a hard dick? Is it a 50% chub, a 70% chub? Like, I need answers. I need to know this. Let's say it's a 50% chub. Mm, that it's might get the fun. No, it's not. That might get the job done, guy. Yes, but well, my thing is how many girls are going to fuck a 50% chub all the time? But maybe I'm your gonna, girl. If you ain't that pretty, you're not going to get that many girls, Nick. Listen, listen, don't disrespect the pretty face. Nick's a good looking guy. He's got a I'm small good looking guy. He's got a small head, but he's a good looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. I agree with you guys. We'll get it. Just we have to get a bonus. He agreed with us from Jump Street, Nick. Don't let him fool you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cheat day versus cheat meal. When would you utilize either of these? Cheat day versus cheat. I've never really. I've never honestly had a fucking cheat day. I don't ever do that. I have. I haven't done a cheat day since I was younger. We because me yeah. and Chad. When Chad used to train me, 
he used to deplete the fuck out of me from like Sunday to Friday. And then Saturday he would be like, take the day off. Yeah. So that would be like a cheat day. Right. But I don't do that anymore. Now it's like, and when you have a, to me, when you have a cheat day, like I, like once I have like one big garbage meal, my stomach's like, Oh, now, but what about 10 years ago? I never, no, oh, you I never, 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 no. never a big eater. No. What about you, Nick? I never had a whole cheat day ever. No, man. It was a regular thing for me. Listen on Sundays, yeah. <laughs> listen to this on Sundays in the off season, me and my boys will get together and watch football from like noon. Cause you know, they have the noon, like the one o'clock game. Yeah. And then they'd have the night game that would go till about 11. So we would start at the first game and watch all three games all the way till like almost midnight. We would fucking eat the whole day while we watched the games, pizza, we- man, everything. We used to go to the grocery store, get all like the baked goods, like danishes, fucking brownies, cookies, whatever. Then we'd order in pizza and fucking, and then later we'd order McDonald's. It was all fuck because we were watching football and just fucking. Yeah. Sometimes there'd be drinks. I'm sending a text to save my fucking career so I don't Dude, get. You're gonna be that. fine. Tell him you got a podcast to do. You'll be all right. This is more important anyway. The fans yeah, like it. Fuck sushi. Uh, okay. Anyway, so I don't think a cheat day is bad, man. I think that Sunday I had off from the gym. It would refuel big time, and then Monday I trained legs, and my leg days were always crazy. I was always full as fuck. So I don't know. Guys don't really do that anymore. You have on a cheat day. What's that, Nick? How many meals would you have on a cheat day? Well, like I said, we would just eat all day long. So you just they pretty much like it wasn't. It was it wasn't structured, man. I would just eat all yeah. fucking day. You know, sometimes we'd throw some gr- some some steaks on the grill or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was just an all day fucking food fest. So it'd be, like, I, I would say I would say we easily got in anywhere from seven to ten thousand calories on a Sunday. And that, that, that was like every Sunday. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I would wake up on Monday morning and I would go in and crush legs and I had the best workouts ever. So I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't advise that for everybody, but when you're trying to bulk, especially some guys that are hard gainers, I don't think it's wrong to throw some shit in your diet, man. I think guys are too scared to eat nowadays. No, I think if you're a hard gainer, it's, I, I would say yeah. do it. Yeah. If yeah. you're, if you're prone to being fat, no, it's not a good idea. You're just going to get yeah. fatter. But if you're one of these guys, like I've been, I've been coaching and I, and I had a couple guys on my roster that like just couldn't gain weight. And I'm like, yeah, we got to throw some shit in there, man. You're not going to get big on chicken and rice. No. So anyway, what about cheat meals? When do you guys utilize your cheat meals? In the off season? Or off season? Off season. Whenever I feel like it, whenever I want a meal. I mean, yeah, I normally do it on Sundays on when I train uh, quads. But let's say Thursday rolls around and your girl wants to go grab a bite to eat or something. Or let's say you're just craving something. You will you just have you just flop one of your meals and have something like a, a burger or something or no? No, nah, because I don't really crave anything. But if you were, like if nah. you did, you wouldn't do it. No, because you're being strict. Yeah, really. The only time I would is if my, my girlfriend was here and wanted to get something to eat. Then yeah. What about you, guy? I'm pretty fucking strict. I mean, right now, my see, I have a tr- trouble gaining weight. So like every couple of days I'll just have like before bed, I'll just eat like something I want. Yeah. But like, I'm like, I weighed in, I think I was like the day they're like two Oh three, two Oh four. Like I was lighter. I was smaller than I've been, but it's whatever. And I, but before I left for here, I was two Oh seven point six. Like the other night I had like, I ate my chick, like before bed, I had like chicken and broccoli. And I'm like, man, I'm just I'm like, I'm fucking hungry. And I like looked in the mirror and I was flat and I was like, I'm just going to eat some fuck. So I ate like four donuts. I was like, I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. I don't, um, I'm strict to a point. I'm like, in the off season, I'm strict, but if I want something, I want it because when prep rolls around, I am like, there's no yeah. like, going, of course. I've always told people I'm 80 20. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Like, I'm saying, yeah, I agree. In the off season, I have my six meals a day. But yeah. if, if, if nine o'clock rolls around, usually that's around having like my fifth meal. If nine o'clock rolls around, I feel like I want to have a fucking burger. I'll switch my fifth meal for a burger. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Now, the only time that changes is if I start looking at myself in the off season, I've gotten too fat, then I'll start pulling that back a bit. So, yeah. so the amount of cheat meals I have is dictated by how you look, how I look. If I start to turn to a fat slob, I'm not like, Oh, I got to eat whatever I want anyways. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I start, I start watching it, you know? Um, would you, why would you, why would I do that? Would you do skydiving and how fast do you think you'd fall if you were skydiving? I will never skydive. I would skydive, never done it, and don't know. Weird question. I would definitely skydive. 
Uh, I wouldn't bungee jump. Surprisingly, I would rather okay. sky. I'd rather. No, sky. that actually scares me more. Actually, and I'm yeah. not afraid of heights and shit. I would jump out of a plane. Bungee jumping, just like being tied to that thing and trusting that that thing's not going to snap. I know, like, well, you got to trust the parachute, but you got to go with somebody. So, like, chances of two parachutes not opening. Yeah. Like, what about you, Nick? No, I'm just I'm petrified of heights. Oh, are you really? Yeah. No. What about like in a building? Can you go up in a building somewhere? Like if you went to like, like in a the... mall, can you lean over like the top like thing and like look yeah, down? Yeah, but like I don't like I don't like flying. I don't like I don't like, like where I'm not sit, like like if, would you hunt? Would you like sit like thirty th- like thirty feet up in a tree stand? Like on? Yeah, I could do that. That's that. You know how high thirty feet up in a tree is? Yeah, I, I would be nervous, but I'd do it. But I would never jump out of a plane. I'd like to see Nick climb the ladder to that thirty foot. He would look like a fucking like silverback gorilla going to save a life his that. fucking baby you can't climb fast imagine nick imagine nick just scaled the shit like i can't see nick doing anything fast i bet you he's surprisingly athletic um yeah i have a very athletic background so yeah. yes not when you were 300 pounds you mutant i still got it it doesn't well, you got what you got what my athletic abilities which is what <laughs> What's your best athletic attribute, Nick? In terms of what? Like, what sport were you the best at? Baseball. There's not really any athletic. Well, I mean, I shouldn't say that. There's not really like a lot of running and shit in baseball. Okay, well, I was really good at baseball. Actually, that's a really stupid question. That's a really stupid thing to say because I guess if you're fielding, you're running a lot too. What, was, what, what, what position? Or... Yeah, there's a lot of running. <laughs> it's just a dumb, dumb thing to say. What what position did you play in baseball? Um, I really I played every position except catcher. Huh. I okay. sucked at Can you still run? Yes. I want to see a video of you running. Can you make a video of you running tomorrow? You want like a jog or a sprint? No, no, I want to see a sprint. <laughs> like go in front of your house. Nick, who do you think would win in a in a sprint? Me, you or Fuad? Me. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I think Guy yeah. would win. He's a little less... okay. Wait a minute. I want to tomorrow make a video. Go from like one light post to the next light post. Nah, man, my luck. I'll fucking tear a hammy or something. No, shit. you just yeah. used a newbie, bro. You're good, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think Guy would win out of the three of us. Why? I played he... football and I was I was a running back and a cornerback. You're not. Gonna I imagine. I imagine he's not much bigger than he was when he played football. Actually, <laughs> believe it or not, I graduated college barely 200 pounds. And yeah. I, I've gotten up to no, now, but my off season, the biggest I've gotten off season is about 242. But I usually, I usually hover around like 230. I still don't, you don't look like you're cumbersomely big. I'm like not, but I can move. That's what I'm saying. Like you yeah, look I like can you move. can still move. Like that wrestling thing you did. Like, so I remember when we, like, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I can move. Yeah. Like I just got my truck lifted and I have trouble getting in and out of it. Well, I'm sure I had trouble getting fucking shit out of the top <laughs> covered. So. <laughs> Uh, would you rather have your ran foot over your foot ran over by a Honda Civic or have uh, this is silly? I got mine ran over by a BMW. Come on. <laughs> Next question. You want to hear the rest of it, Nick? Yeah. Would you rather have your foot ran over by a Honda Civic or Conor McGregor spinning back kick <laughs> kick you in the balls? That's so stupid. Who would <laughs> who would pick the Conor McGregor one? I have no idea. I'm gonna I'm I, gonna, I gotta pick, pick better questions. Pick. What'd you say, Nick? I'm gonna pick the Honda Civic one. Yeah, I think so too, right? What are your thoughts on only? By the way, this is question six. Before, if you don't think I'm counting, but I'm going fast. But I'm going fast now. (laughs) What are your thoughts on calisthenics workouts compared to regular gym sessions? I don't know. Do them at home. Don't be the guy in the gym jumping jackings. Do that and stay home. Do your jumping jacks at home. (laughs) No. Uh, that's for the boys, Guy Cicinino, Nick Walker, and obviously Fuad. You need to quit for the rest of your life. One of them: sex, training, sex or training. Oh, dude, what the fuck? You can't quit sex, can you? If you don't have a girlfriend. Don't do <laughs> yeah, your guy, you're not getting set. You can jerk off. That's right. See? That lasts That's like two bad. minutes. Yeah, but whatever. Just get the job done. I, right. I, this question, I would go I would go with no sex for a year. It doesn't say a year. It says for the rest of your life. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll be a golfer. Yeah, Nick. That basically means so basically what he's saying is you quit sex for the rest of your life or you have to quit bodybuilding. 
Now, wait, sex is considered blowjobs and all. I don't think so. Wait a minute. That's a tough one. If that's I can still get a blowjob, this that might be a turn for me. Yeah. If I, can still get my, <laughs> if I can still get my dick sucked, I'm fucking training. I'll take a blowy all day long. Nick, I swear to God, man, you fucking just killed me. <laughs> no, you called it a blowy? A, blow. a lot of people call it a blowy. You never heard that before? No. What do you call it? The proper name? Blowjob? Seth, Seth says that or all the time. Fuck, Seth, or a BJ, bro? I think Seth. A BJ. <laughs> a BJ. <laughs> Seth literally gets up Her head? in the morning on his stories right. and he's like, I got a blowy today from my fucking girl. I wonder if, if, if I ever fucking that. verbally was with a girl and said verbally that I got my dick sucked by her that day, I'd probably get shot. I asked him that on the podcast. <clears throat> he came on a podcast. I said, Seth, how the fuck do you get away with saying the shit you're saying? Yeah, does she get mad? He said it comes from a good place, so she's okay with it. I'm like, <laughs> Uh, like not my house. That shit's Nick, not Does fine. she get mad? You just said your three bugaboos were butthole licked, dick sucked, and fucking food. What was the other one? <laughs> Anal. So Nick. Okay, wait. We, we haven't established this. One second. <laughs> is a is a blowjob part of sex? It's considered no. oral. Se- it's oral sex. That's right. But he's not saying that. But I think people in general, if you say no, the word, I'm going to go. It doesn't count, and I'm still going to be. <laughs> They go and get a blowjob. Wait a minute. If people in general, if they ca- if they say the word sex, it counts like blowjobs count. Yes. Right. So he's saying everything. If it's everything, I'm think- going with not working out. If it's I'm allowed to get a blowjob, I'm good with that. I don't that. think it because a lot of people will say we did everything but sex. So that's true. That's true. When people are like trying to describe what happened. Yeah. We yeah, do like, it all. Say, but we did like to say, say like every- well, they'll say we did everything. But, sex. but 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 sex. But they're, yeah, they're, they're not going to say we had oral sex, but not sex. No, no. But Nick's right. Like if you meet a girl and your boys are like, "Hey, what'd you guys do?" You're like, "We did everything but fuck." Yeah. And the first question's going to be, "Did you get a blowjob?" Yeah. He's right. Nick's right. Which is oral sex. Guy, stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to know this from Nick because of how much you love bodybuilding and you're only 27 or 26. So this actually means everything to you more than me and guy. Cause I could retire tomorrow. If not, I'm already retired and it wouldn't matter for you though. If someone said you can never train again, or you can never have sex, which one are you going to pick? And that includes everything. All I'll give you hand jobs. You can have a hand job. That's so the girl can give a hand job. The girl can give you a hand job. That's it. You can also give yourself a hand job. Let's not fucking forget that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's a lot more pleasurable when it's a female's hand. No, it's that not. hands a hand. No, it's not. It sucks. It's like yeah. a butthole's a butthole. No, the girl doing it. It's, 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 it's shit. It's worse. It spices it up. Girls, it's, it's, I'll, I'll say this. There's not one girl that can jerk you off better than you can jerk yourself off. True, Sorry, true. girls. I don't care. And you true. can put you can get I would love to see one girl argue that comment. Okay, I got an answer. All right, let's hear it. I'm Why is your hand up. bigger than your head? Yeah, do that again. Go like this. Look how big your fucking head hand is compared. To- <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Why is your hand bigger than your head? <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> so okay, so you didn't answer the question yet because this is how much this is going to show how much you love bodybuilding. Obviously. Yeah, I, I pick no sex. Really. Yeah, you yeah. have no career, no money. I mean, I fucking, no, no, he's, he's he, career. What'd you say? I'm only at the beginning of my career. Yeah, see, Nick, see, guy, Nick's picking training over sex. sex is money. Yeah, I think he's right. I think he'd be in jail after fucking six months, but hey. No, he'd just be jerking off a lot. I actually think he's right. I think if I was 27 or 27, well, like I, I got my pro card at 27, and somebody, somebody said to me, you have to quit working out right now. Or never have sex again. I honestly don't know what I would do. It's a tough one. Because then you can never bodybuild again. You're like, you basically, you have to retire and fuck off and go do something else. Or you can never fuck girls again. But then again, when I was 27, all I want to do is fuck. You were like a jackrabbit. Yeah. So it's that's a tough one too. Catch 22. That's a really tough question, man. It's very that's tough. one of the best questions we've ever gotten. That's the hardest would you rather we've ever gotten, I think. Yeah. It's very tough, but... I'm still picking no sex. That's crazy to say, because all we do is would you rathers. And I think that is the literally toughest one I've ever read, because 
You're when I was, fucked either way. You're screwed. It's yeah. either way. It's a it's a bad move. Because when I was 27, all I wanted to do was fuck and work out. And this guy's <laughs> like, this guy's like, you got to pick one. Damn, that's tough. All right, well, we're gonna have to pass on it. I'm gonna have to ask everybody else and see what they think. Yeah. You gotta ask that on the other podcast. Yeah, this is like I need to convene everybody and figure out what the answer yeah. is. Yeah, I definitely yeah. want to hear James and Ian's answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, do you guys think it's acceptable if your triceps get a bit sore on back training day, or is something just going wrong when it happens? I've never heard that before ever. You said a tricep pump on your back day? Yeah, it happens. It can happen. Like if you do, if you're doing pullovers. Like if you do pullovers or if you do standing pull downs, your triceps actually do work. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but if you do three or four sets, your triceps shouldn't be blazed afterwards. No, you shouldn't be getting sore triceps. No, you're right about that's what that. I'm saying. And it's really those only those those two movements. Like it's really pullover movements that your triceps yeah. are involved in the most. It's not any really anything else. So if you would have said chest, I'd have been like, that's normal. Yeah, but maybe he's doing a lot of pullovers. Who knows? Oh. Right? Because it's involved. Well, I know that from when I tore my tricep, when I, when I did surgery on my tricep, when I was able to be like, when they allowed me to go back and train, they said, just go light. And I would do in some, I would be doing some pullovers or pull downs, like straight arm pull downs. My you tricep. Don't. Yeah. My tricep would be fucked. Like I could feel really? it. Yeah. So it is involved. I just don't think it's involved. It's weird. Cause I don't think it's involved on a pull down or cause they insert, right? Like your tricep inserts into the yeah. upper part of your back. Yeah. So it makes sense. I don't think they should be getting sore. I mean, that's yes. And if it is sore from doing pullovers, you're doing way too many pullovers. Yeah. So, uh, when hiring a coach, is it okay to ask them where to get PEDs? <laughs> no, don't do that. No, I would say no. I mean, you can ask, but don't expect, I guess this is a better way to put it. If you you're a bodybuilder, ask, before you get a coach, you should already have a source if you're taking your. Well, no, I was going to say it's okay to well, ask. Source, it's lost your source. Wait a minute. This is what I was going to say. If you're hiring a coach, it's okay to ask them whatever the fuck you want to ask them. I think it's wrong if you expect your coach to get you shit because that's not going to happen. I agree with that. Yeah. Okay. I how come on the national level they have like multiple weight classes, but it seems like at the pro shows they only have two classes? Because that's, that's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> you can't have a weight class for every fucking pro division. It's stupid. That's true. You could. You could have a middle class. It would be too much. It would be a fucking nightmare. That's classic. It would be the middle class. Classic's though. the middle class. Yeah, classic is the middle class, actually, if you think about it. Well, the middle class, Nick, if if you want my opinion, I mean, you would do like 212 like they have now. Yeah. And then you would go like 240. Really? Yeah, because think that's, about uh, that's, 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 I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's the right yeah. way to do things, but think about it for one second. A guy like Ronnie Rockle, for example, right? Great bodybuilder, amazing physique, but he could never compete with somebody that's 260. No. He's never going to win. He dropped down to 212. In my opinion, you know what would be really fucking cool in bodybuilding? If they did a two, 210 and under, and then, like a, on, I piss. and then like a 210 to 240 or 235, and then like a 240 and up. And then after they all won their classes, they had overall. Like because, because there's a guy like a Dexter Jackson who probably weighs in at like 230, 235. Yeah. Who could fucking smoke somebody who's 255, 260. Yeah. Right? But that's not always going to happen. So maybe it'll make the shows more interesting. Probably. <clears throat> that would be interesting if they did that. Do you think it'd be better or do you think it'd be worse? Do you think it'd be more boring? Do you think, think it would be... Say that again? I think it would be more exciting. Yeah, I don't think it would take away from the sport. I think it would make, no. more, it would make it more valuable. I agree. Because then people would want to see that 240 guy beat the big guy, right? Yeah. You're gonna have guys I'm that weigh in. Guy. What'd you say, guy? No, I'm the big guy. You what? I said I'm the big guy. Yeah. No, but seriously, because <laughs> think about like Flex Lewis, right? Flex Lewis is a 210, 212 guy, whatever. Yeah. yeah. You get Flex Lewis coming to a show like that, and he fucking beats everybody. Yeah, but then it's like, is that like what? Well, then they're all gonna people like it. 
it just complicates the sport. Like we, like people already say that the two twelve Olympia is not the real Olympia. So it's like that's not the real like that. You're not real. You're not the real Mister Olympia if you're okay. But wait a minute. What I'm saying is, let's imagine for one day. Let's say for one day I was in charge, and they're like, you can do anything you want. Okay. I'd say, okay, fine. There's three classes. There's lightweight, middleweight, and and heavyweight. And the lightweight is two ten and under. The middleweight is two ten to two forty, and the heavyweight is two forty and up. And at the end of the show, they all compete against each other, and the fucking winner is Mr. They Olympia. Used, they used to do that for 212 and over. They did it at the New York Pro, Kai versus Campanini. They said, tried that already. I know that. They shouldn't have stopped. What I'm saying is there's no more 212 Mr. Olympia and the real Mr. Olympia. There's they just, all fight for an overall? There's just an overall Mr. Olympia. So when I Fle- would agree with that, yeah. So when, when Flex Lewis wins, now Flex Lewis stands next to Phil Heath. If Phil Heath beats him, Phil Heath beats him. That's it. Yeah. Right, like that's way more interesting because then you got shows it's more exciting. Yeah, yeah, you got shows earlier in the year now where Flex Lewis comes on stage at two ten, and somebody else comes in at two thirty five, and somebody else comes in at two fifty five. Flex Lewis might beat all those guys. Yeah, right? that would be pretty. So I'm like, that's kind of fucking sweet. Like that's what I I think that would make things more exciting for people, and I think it would give people, it would give the guys like. I don't know why I thought of Ronnie Rockle first. I've just always thought he had amazing physique and he could never beat some of the bigger guys, but like it would give somebody like a Ronnie Rockle a chance to win his class at least and stand in the overall. Yeah, I get it. Okay. I agree with that. Anyway. Okay. We'll do a couple more and then guys got to go. I got to go like very, two, very soon. Two, right. two, two more, two more. <laughs> two more. <laughs> uh, can you just, Fuck. no, can we just go? Um, Make them good, Fuad. It's not a. It's not my choice. It's just in order. I'm not going to sit here and have dead air while I look through all the questions. Um, okay, The Rock. Okay, here we go. The Rock, Arnold, and Ronnie. Train with one. Dinner with one. Drunk with one. Name the three. The Rock, Arnold, and Ronnie Coleman. Okay. I'm getting drunk with Ronnie Coleman. I'm training with Ronnie Coleman. No, wait, don't answer, guy. Let him finish his fucking answers. I want to get drunk with Ronnie Coleman. I think that would be fucking fun. Okay. Um, what was the other one? The Arnold and The Rock. So dinner with one. I'll train, and... I'll train with Arnold. You just said you're... Okay, you're going to be drunk with Ronnie. You're going to train with Arnold. And yeah. then you're, you're going to go to dinner with The Rock? I'll go to dinner with Rock. And I'll, and, and I'll buy. Dude, you're so ass backwards. Those are, yeah, no, all, the, those are all the wrong answers. I would have said... This is opinionated. <laughs> you're right. There's, you're right. There's I, no wrong answer. I'm sorry. I would have said train with Ronnie because he was a freak. Yeah. I would have, um, what do you call it? I would probably eat with Arnold because he's older and I'd probably learn more just talking to him over dinner. Yeah. And probably chill with The Rock. Do we get to pick any Arnold of any age or is it have to no, be No, I'm now. talking about the Arnold right now. Now. Uh, it's all now. <laughs> yeah, but think about your training session with Ronnie. How great would that be? <laughs> That means you're training with Ronnie now. Oh shit! I fucked myself. Yeah, no. Okay. I, okay. All right. You're right. I, you're right. You're right. I'm training with The Rock. Okay, I'm with you. I'm, with you. I'm having. I'm getting drunk with Arnold and have dinner with Ronnie. I don't know if I could like because you, you said because you said because you said now like it's it's now. So I would rather I would rather have dinner. I, with... I, I'm, I would drink. I think I would drink with Ronnie. I would drink with Arnold. He's probably still got some awesome stories. Get wasted and fucking hear all his fucking stories from back in the day. Yeah, but I think Ronnie Drunk would be fucking hilarious. You already picked your you, you awesome. pictures. You lost. I can't because you said fucking the Ronnie of now. So you can't. That's, you should have known that. You said it. You made the rules. You said I said Arnold from before and you said no, Arnold of now. I said, okay, you're fucked it. You got the Ronnie of now. You're <laughs> trading, you're trading with Ronnie. I'm, we- I'm gonna be the only fucking 212 guy to bury Ronnie Coleman in a row. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick, you picked what did you pick again? You picked Drunk with Ronnie. Drunk with, with Ronnie. Him. That's a good one. Okay, and then you picked. I got to train with Arnold. He's a little older, but it's okay. He still he still trains. He was doing T bars one day. Like, That's what I'm saying. Little, we'll get yeah. it. And I'm and I'm taking Rock out to dinner. Why wouldn't you want to get drunk with the Rock though? Terramana. Think about how fun that would be. I think I think Ronnie would be funner. No man. I would get the Rock hammered in Robbie's house. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think I won that one. You did. I'll give it to you. I think I won that one. Good job. Your trophy's in the back of my car. Next question. 
I'm just saying. It's just, I just want to make everybody know that I, I got that one. <laughs> you got the loopholes. We fucked. We got. All right, loopholes. all right, all right. Uh, last one, and then you got to go. Make it. Um, now that Rami won the big O, what does the rest of the top six or anyone else need to do to take him down? That's. Do they have to pack on even more muscle like Jay did to finally win over Ronnie, or is Rami the guy for a while? Rami's going to be the guy for the while. Uh, for a while, if there's if I. I don't think so. Nick doesn't think so. If he had something to say about it. I think it's going to be very hard to beat Rami if he actually keeps improving and getting better. Well, that that's my answer. If he keeps improving, then yeah. But if he doesn't, then he, he, he'll, he won't win next year. Wait a minute. How much can Rami improve? Rami, Rami yeah, can I don't have... think it was. I think it was at his best, but I don't think that's his all-time best. Wait a minute. No. Rami can get better conditioning wise of course but can rami still get bigger i mean we haven't seen him get bigger and i don't think he needs to get bigger i know that so i'm saying like what how can he get better other than conditioning is there a way for him to get better no not really his posing was great his size is great his conditioning was okay it was enough to have him win because a lot of people weren't great rami's back rami's back is a weak point when in that back to all bicep so that's the the only place somebody can take him out really I'm just thinking, yeah. like, is there anybody in our in our mind right now that's competing that could beat no. Rami? No. If Kai Green came back, could he beat Rami? Possibly. Because on the other pad co- podcast I did, those guys thought I was crazy for saying Rami. So, so yeah, Rami. I don't agree with it. I don't. I think if Kai came back, right, I thought, I'm going to jump off. Just finish this question. I've gotten three phone calls now. Just finish this question. We're going to be done in a minute. Come on. Hurry up. Okay. Okay, no, just go. Me and me and Nick will finish it. Yeah, we'll, go we'll finish. Go, 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 go. Finish. Well, Nick, you don't agree with the guys that you think Kai, you think Kai can still come back and beat Rami. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. I don't, I don't think <laughs> Kai I do too. I think Kai is overrated. Those guys, those guys, Ian thinks Kai is wildly overrated, and they think because he's hasn't competed in five years that he can't bring it back. That part he I also made... look, he also right now looks better than ha- fucking eighty percent of the guys that competed at the Olympia. So, well, one, one second. I don't. I want. I don't want to misrepresent them. Ian was speaking amongst like the Olympia champions. He wasn't speaking about everybody in the league. So, Rami being the champion, can Kai beat? Can Kai beat Rami? Yes. yes. Really? Yes. That's amazing, uh-huh. right? I thought that I thought it's, I don't know if he can. I do think it's a possibility. I think he can. I think out of all the guys competing, he probably has the best chance. Yeah. I agree. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, guy, guy, go enjoy your sushi, man. Sorry. Sure, for- if I get fired, I'm going to be looking for you for more sponsorship money. You're not going to get fired. Just tell him it's my fault. <laughs> all right, man. Love you. All right. Love you guys. Okay, Nick. Are you sticking around? I'll continue. All right. We're going to continue for one more, two more. Three more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hit it. Uh, what's your thoughts about teens competing naturally? Would you ever work with a 16-year-old? No. No, you wouldn't work with a 16-year-old? No, because all they're going to want to do is take PEDs, PDs. Yeah, but you can... You can. Okay, well, let's answer the first question. What's your thoughts on teens competing naturally? Do they... I think it's great. Yeah, like you probably shouldn't be on gear. If you're, fucking, if, if you're fucking 16, that's a little crazy. Would you rather overtrain or undertrain? That's a good question. Mm, I, I think I'd rather overtrain. I'd rather overtrain too. I think I'd rather overtrain. So I feel like if I undertrain, I'm just not getting the most out of it. But if you overtrain, then you have, wait a minute though, because if you overtrain, then you have possibility of injury and all that shit. But I guess. I'd rather overtrain too, man. I'd rather overtrain. I'd rather go balls out during my workout. I don't know. I think the fun of bodybuilding is – I don't think bodybuilding is fun unless you're going to that limit. Yeah. So just going, not, to, just going to the gym and, like, fucking around a little bit. like. I got I to gotta push to the limit. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, I don't watch Dragon Ball Z, so I can't answer that question. Me neither. How to get pants that fit your giant ass legs without looking like you're wearing leggings. You wear, 
Do you wear jeans? <laughs> do you wear jeans, Nick? I have I have one pair that I wear. <laughs> stretchy, stretchy jeans, man. That's the way to go. Yeah. I don't know where to get them. Where, where do you get them? Diesel. That's a website. No, Diesel. The the clothing, the clothing brand, oh. Diesel. Yeah. Go to Diesel. They they have like all these different types of jeans, obviously, but they have some stretchy jeans that don't look like leggings, but they're still a little bit stretchy. Yeah. So when you wear them, they're actually fucking comfortable. So they're nice. They look, they look cool. Yeah, man. Every time I wear them, people are like, where'd you get your jeans? How'd you get your jeans to fit? It's diesel. Right. I need the orders. I mean, there's better ones. Like, I guess there's some other companies that are made specifically for this kind of shit. Yeah. But I just like the style. I like diesel style. So I don't know, but your legs are bigger than mine too, man. So you might not find, it might be even harder for you. Probably it sucks. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you can wear jeans like without looking without them looking super tight. They, they always look super tight. Yeah. Uh, what's the weirdest shit you've done while dieting because of hunger? Okay, well, I don't have a story, um, a crazy story from being hungry, mm. but I got a crazy prep story. All right, hit me. So let me tell you this. All right. It was my, <laughs> it's going to make you laugh, I promise. All right, all right. It was my very first prep. Yeah. Very first prep. Yeah. I was definitely like, I, the last four weeks, I was definitely like over dieted, right? Mm. And like, I just had no sense of anything anymore. Like, I didn't give a fuck. I, I had no direction. I was done. Mm -hmm. One night in the middle of the night, I had to pee really, really bad. Okay. Really, right? So I get up. I thought I went to the bathroom door, but I went to my brother's bedroom <laughs> and I started peeing on the floor thinking it was <laughs> the toilet. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I was I told you I was so out of it. And all I hear is, dude, dude, <sighs> dude, what the fuck? <laughs> and I like completely pinched it. And went into the bathroom and finished. What the fuck? Who the fuck does that? Well, how do you not know you're in the fucking bedroom in another bedroom? I, I went to the bathroom. It was dark. I didn't turn the light on. And you just started pissing on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> what the that fuck is morning, that next morning? My brother just looked at me like, this yeah. is really right now. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Like, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> you don't have any you don't have any habits though, like anything you do when you're dieting? No, I no. I used to drink a lot of Crystal Light. I I did that my first, but every every prep's different. Yeah, I know. Early on, though, like in my first few years of bodybuilding, I would drink a lot of Crystal Light because it would crush my appetite. Really? Yeah, I would just guzzle like I, you know, those one and a half liter bottles of water. I would put a Crystal Light packet in there and just slam it. I'd slam the whole thing, and it would just bloat me, and I'd be like, "Okay, good, I'm not fucking hungry anymore." It's the only way I get through it. Do you, do, you, do you still do that now or no? No, I still use those Mio squirter squirt bottle things, but now it's just for flavor. It's not because yeah. I'm trying to not because I'm trying to like because the crystal light things have more sweetener in them or something, so they would blow, they would bloat my stomach. So, but yeah, I don't know. That's crazy. Um, okay, we're having the conversation about the other divisions versus open bodybuilding. Last bro chat, and specifically, guy was asking why they chose to do men's physique over open my theory is because they know they have a better chance at winning but my question is would you rather win five men's physique mr o's or place top 10 five times in the open mr o but never actually place first would you rather win the men's physique olympia five times or be top 10 at the open mr olympia where am i placed in the top 10 let's say your 10th could i be fifth no, let's say you're 10th. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you're 10th. Dude, come on. I'd probably pick for physique. Dude, would you really? I don't know. Top 10? That's low for me, man. I would take 10th at the Olympics. Really? Five. I don't want to be Think about it, man. If you listen, I, I mean, it's good that you have your, your sights set, set so high, but. If you say to somebody, I was top 10 at the Olympia five years in a row, you're a fucking good bodybuilder. Yeah, but like, like, you're, Ian, like, like, man, you're not saying I was 10th. I know, but yeah, but so what? You can still say top 10, even if you're 10th. I know, but then they're going to ask you, like, well, what would you place? You're 10th. It's still top 10. 
Yeah, it's just, I don't know. It doesn't, it just sounds like low. I don't mm. <laughs> so, so, 10th in the world sounds low. Are you crazy? That makes it sound good, but like placing 10th, I don't know. I'm just not. Mm. If it was fit, I'd be cool with that. So Ian was seventh today or this year. Yeah. So if Ian could play seventh five times or win the Mr. Olympia physique, the Mr. the physique Mr. Olympia five times, what do you think he would take? What would you take? I think I think he would take the seventh. What would you take? I would take seventh. So you just wouldn't what about ninth? Would you take ninth? Nah, still too low. <laughs> it's too close. Is eight close. Close. So nah. seventh is seven is the, the, seven is the cutoff. That's the cutoff. Because you're like I, you're right in six, like you're right there, you know. I disagree. I, I think I'd rather be tenth in the open. It's just because I love open bodybuilding. I don't want to be a men's physique guy. Me neither, but I don't want to be tenth neither. Really? Yeah. So you'd quit bodybuilding and go to men's physique? No, I, that wasn't part of the question. I would never quit. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's say that's part of the question this is what you have to do somebody comes to you tomorrow and says nick you got to go down to like 220 pounds and we're going to be able to make it happen but so i snap in our fingers you go to 220 <laughs> you have you have a beautiful physique you're going to win the mr men's physique mr o five times starting next year you're going to go on a five-year tear you're going to win everyone or you can stay the way you are but we're going to guarantee that you take ninth at every Mr. Olympia from here for the next five years. Yeah, I'm gonna take ninth. I don't want to be small. See, that's what you weren't thinking it through. You were like, I'd rather win the you didn't realize you're gonna to have to shrink. Yeah, I don't want to do that. All right, you got me. You persuaded me. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay on you until you change your mind. <laughs> um all right. Where do you get your elbow sleeves from? Amazon. Iron Rebel. Iron Rebel? You know yeah. what? You know what? And I don't want to say it because I know you're probably sponsored, but SBD has good shit too. I, I have a pair of SBD uh, elbow sleeves. I also have a pair of gasp elbow sleeves that are really good too. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm not anymore, but I used to be sponsored by Iron Rebel, so I just use all their stuff. Yeah, I have a, a pair of Iron Rebel knee sleeves, but... Um, I couldn't wear their knee sleeves. They couldn't get over my calf. Yeah, I could I could see that. But honestly, like when I wear elbow sleeves, see the elbow sleeves you're talking about are more for lifting. Yeah. Right? Like the thicker neoprene ones. Yeah. Yeah. The elbow sleeves I, that this guy's talking about that he's seen me wearing, they're like really thin, like tensor bandage, like cloth, stretchy material. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what are you wearing yeah. for? Just to keep my elbows warm. Like I'll put um what I is do it like is the same effect is I was wearing an elbow sleeve? No, because the thing, this is why I do it. I usually put, because my, like, I used to have bad tendonitis in my elbows. Yeah. So I'll put like Tiger Bomb, because Tiger Bomb has like 11% menthol or something like that, or 13% menthol. So it has a lot of menthol in it. Anyway, so I put Tiger Bomb on my elbow, and then I put the elbow sleeve over top, and it just keeps the elbow joint really, really warm. Gotcha. So there's blood flow there before you get to the gym. So I'll do it, and I'll go, I'll get in my car and go to the gym. So for 15 minutes, that shit's active and it's kind of drawing blood to the it's area. Been warm and stuff. You know? Yeah. So it's almost like, it. it's like warming up your elbow before you warm up. You know what I mean? So that's, I think he's talking about the thin tensor bandage. I, I just bought them on Amazon. I think I just typed in like cloth elbow sleeve or something. I didn't even, I don't, I don't even know the name of them. I'll have to try that. Uh, okay. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do one or two more. Um, here we go. Should a 14 year old teenager bulk or cut? <laughs> I guess we got a lot of young guys watching the show. If you're 14, you should just focus on bulking. Just focus on eating. Yeah. Unless just you're the... Yeah, just focus on eating and training hard, man. Don't worry, but don't make it complicated. Do you think it's a 14 year old asking that question? Why would anybody else ask? Why would like a 20 year old write that? <laughs> Unless it's like some kid's mom that like is asking, like I don't know why anybody else would write that. Uh, after seeing you collab with William Tennyson, I got curious if what if any other fitness YouTubers do you guys watch? Do you watch any fitness YouTubers? No, I don't even know who that person is. William Tennyson's like this 
just a normal guy, like athletic build from Canada. He's from like the Toronto area. Uh, it's just a funny guy. He's used to be a chubby kid, I guess. And he got like lean and fit. Yeah. Was an Instagram. Uh, yeah. William Tennyson, but his YouTube is great. Like his, he told me like his passion is actually like editing and filming the videos, like the, the movie really? side. Yeah. The movie side of it. They're actually just interesting. He eats a fuckload of food, man. The really? guy, the guy can eat like he's a machine. Is that what he does? Yeah. That's like his main thing. So he called me, he messaged me one day and he's like, Hey man, do you want to do a workout together? Oh, that was that kid. That's the kid I did the leg workout with. Yeah. Oh, I, okay. I've seen that. I watched that. So I'm like, you want to train legs? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay i'm like okay so we went training legs he fucking kept up he kept i put him i didn't do anything crazy i just put him through a normal leg workout but he fucking kept up man he was strong and he fucking endured the whole thing and then you guys went to five guys and then we went to five guys and we did like a speed eating burger challenge and he beat he cheated though he beat me by the lettuce because i was eating and i had the whole burger i was like "Mm, i don't know about that one (laughs) I had um, the whole the whole thing is in my mouth, and he points at the let. There was lettuce in my the bottom of my. I, I know this. It's it, lettuce. Yeah, I think I had it. Um, I, just, <laughs> I told him we have to. Who eats lettuce? I told him we have to rematch, but no, he's a good he's a good guy. I had a lot of fun shooting with him, but I don't really know any other fitness YouTubers. But I would do that again with him. Yeah, that was actually that was, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's good, man. I think it's good for our sport. I think it's good for us to like branch out with people like that. Cause that guy's got yeah. like, that guy's... We, can, we, can, we can do other shit. Well, it's not only that. It just shows that we're normal. Like we're not. Free. We have real personalities. Yeah. Cause like, he's got a whole bunch of normal people watching his channel. Yeah. So when he sees like, when they see guys like us laughing and having a good time and like being fucking normal. Yeah. I think it makes bodybuilding as a whole look better. You know what I mean? I agree. Yeah. So pineapple on your pizza or no 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 never pineapple does not go on my pizza you're italian right yeah yeah i should have figured you'd say that <laughs> i put a time <laughs> i put pineapple on my pizza sometimes sometimes just, man I what about if you what about if you get a hawaiian like you know ham mushroom pineapple no still no i don't get hawaiian all right <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> Uh, best Chinese takeout option that isn't an absolute cheat meal. There's so many Chinese takeout's good, man. It's like you can get like that, beef, that beef, absolute cheat meal, like he's it's saying, clean. He's saying it's clean, yeah. There's so many. You can get white rice and yeah. chicken, yeah. You can get white rice and like beef and vegetables and shit. Like, <laughs> no, you can. You get beef, vegetable, I, and it, it's like it's nothing bad about it. I remember a couple of times I used to just go to the Chinese restaurant and get white rice. Yeah, I've done that too. Yeah. It's good. Uh, okay, last one. Oh, no, this is a tough one. Okay. Ian, Ben, James, you got to fuck one, marry one, and kill one. Go. Oh. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot here, man. <laughs> you go first. No, I asked you. You go first. <laughs> No, man. I asked you. You got to answer the question. Ian, Ben, James. You gotta... Was it fuck one, marry one, kill one? Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> um... What's your thought? Too... What's your What's your thought process? How are you think? Tell. Explain to me how you're processing it. What are you thinking? Say it. I kind of want to kill Ian. <laughs> is that because is that because he's your comp- your competition? But James is your he's competition. Gonna be, yeah, so I kind of want to. But James is your competition too. I'll be right. I'll probably I'll probably kill James. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna kill James. You're gonna kill James. I, who are you gonna who are you gonna marry? I don't think I can marry or fuck Ben Chow. You're going to have to fuck somebody. <laughs> can I get drunk before I do it? Yeah, yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get completely hammered. You don't actually have to do it. You know that, right? This is a game. I know. Okay. <laughs> I, would, I would probably fuck Ian and I, I'd marry Ben. Uh, I would <laughs> fuck Ben, marry James, kill Ian. 
You're going to kill Ian? Well, because Ian's probably the hardest to deal with because he's very opinionated. Right? So he would be, he'd be tough to marry. Yeah. And he's not pretty enough to fuck. That's why I got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Completely hammered. I'm talking like shit face. Ben's kind of a pretty boy. That's why, right? Yeah. Right? James is really easy to get along with. So James is well yeah. because he is competition. I gotta you know what I mean? Yeah, he's not my competition though. So yeah. <laughs> right. So he's really easy to live with. So I'd just be like, okay, we're boys, we can live together. <laughs> and Ian's the toughest one to live with. So Ian is a- you know, sorry, Ian. You gotta go, buddy. <laughs> I love you, man, but yeah. <laughs> All right, let's uh let's wrap it up there. All right. We'll get together again next week. Yep. Your head's gonna get smaller this week. Um, it always does. How can your head get smaller every week? Can you tell me that? I don't know, man. I just I think it's now. saying we should you know what I gotta send you a tripod. That's the problem. It's because your camera is like down here. Don't it, right? Yeah. Hold yeah, that hold up hold, hold up your phone for a second. I want to see if you, I want to see if your head gets bigger. No, it's smaller. It got smaller. <laughs> Your head got smaller. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, we got to keep it at an angle. Okay, yeah, keep it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick. Thanks for coming on, brother. I had a good time. Absolutely, man. I'll talk to you next week. All right. All right, brother. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.